Hey everyone, welcome to Fishing Urban Ontario, and today I'm just going to briefly go over the lures that I like to use to catch brook trout. Here, let's get into it. So I'll start first with the lures that aren't fly oriented. Now this is my main go-to whenever I'm trying a new creek where I haven't gotten in brook trout yet and I'm just testing to see if they're in the waters. I've caught more brook trout off of this lure than any other and it's currently tangled. I'll hold it up for the camera to see. Whenever I buy this lure I usually like to buy two of the same kind. Uh, just in case I get one snagged and I lose it, I have a backup. So this is the number four Panther Martin Spinner. Now this I've caught, like I was saying, more brook trout off of than any other lure. This is my go-to. But it's not always the most practical lure to use, as with any situation. Uh, it can change depending on where you are. So, I'll get into that one later. I like in very rapid water, where the water just won't sit still, to use, I believe it's, uh, yeah, one eighth ounce blue and silver little Cleo spoons. Now these, I've caught 30 brook trout off of this year. And they're very hard to get because most of the time when it's, uh, you go to sale or Canadian Tire, they're sold out. These go quickly, so you have to buy them online. For example, half of these lures are very specific, so I usually get them off of eBay, and uh, that's how I get a hold of them. So as you can see, it's just a pattern you choose, blue and silver, and in very quick water, you dangle that in the pool, and if there is a hungry brook trout there during the right time of year, you should get a bite. And for slightly bigger brook trout, around, uh, say, the 18-inch mark, if you ever see ones that are 18 inches in there, I like to upgrade to a quarter-ounce little clear spin. Same pattern, though. This gets swipes over the small stuff. Now, when it's really dead, and I have a hard time getting a bite off of either of those, uh, I'll go into my flies in a bit, but sometimes I find this to be very successful. Now this is just a little pink plastic with a tiny jig head. It's a North Humberland Tackle. I forget what it's called to be honest, but I'll, uh, I'll write that in the description down below. If you want to have a look right down there, I'll put lots of links there during this video. And as usual, um, I just use like 8 or 10 pound line, nothing too fancy. Uh, nothing too thick to cause these small lures not to work properly and uh, nothing too flimsy that brook trout would break it. I found most of the time 8 to 10 is more than fine enough. But you have another look there. So I dangle that in the pool and I just go like this with my rod. I just go, you know, I jig it up and down, up and down, up and down just to bug them, any non-aggressive trout. And when you get a nibble off these things, it's not aggressive. It's not like they just take it and run. So you have to be very careful that you are paying attention to when they might be biting. All right, what else do we have in here? Um, when it's colder out and the trout don't feel like biting as much, and if there's big brown trouts, I've gotten lots of brown trouts off of this lure. This is just a tiny Rapala, um, I don't know what it's called to be honest, but you get the idea. Just the smallest Rapala minnow lure you can find in Canadian Tire, it's silver. And if they're hungry, we'll take a swipe at it. And then here's just a few lures that I've gotten hits on, but I've never actually been able to hook and reel them in on. Uh, my buddy got a brown trout off of this thing. It's the same as a Panther Martin, just a different pattern. As you can see, the colors have swapped places. Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, it's uh, no red in this, but it's just yellow and black. This here, I am yet to get a bite off of. 
I actually bought this originally for muskie, but we'll see if it works for trout this year. This here, same as uh, the pink one. I think it's another Northumberland tackle mimic perch pattern. And I was able to get a swipe off this, but I wasn't able to hook it. All right, so that's enough for this tiny tackle box. I've covered everything in here. So I'm going to get on to my second box now, the spinners that are more fly oriented. And uh, this, these are all from the same company and I really like their stuff and so does everyone else because if you go on their website, most of their stock is sold out. So it's called Joe's Flies and I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out. Um, I use a combination of uh, memory's failing me. Split shots. Yeah, I use a combination of split shots above these tiny spinners on the line. I use about two to three. And um, that helps me get my casting distance. Now, when you go on this website, if you do decide to buy any spinners, um, I would recommend a silver tone over a gold tone. I'm finding I'm having more success with a silver blade than I am the gold blades. And I think everyone else is too, because most of the silver blades are sold out. Now I'm finding with brook trout, unlike other species of trout, like rainbow and brown, they prefer the bigger spinners over the smaller stuff. I think that's more due to their aggressiveness. It's more of a territorial bite than it is a feeding bite. Uh, for example, this one here, I got a brook trout off of this one, I think last June just drifting that in, an, in a pool and uh, yeah it worked really great and I can't wait to use it again when season opens as for rainbow trout and uh, brown trout I'm finding the smaller ones are better I'll hold these ones up to the camera that I've had success with so you guys can buy it if you guys want um, I've had some success with this puppy here No, it's a little fuzzy for you, but hopefully you'll be able to uh, figure out which one it is. I, I would tell you, but I totally forget the names. Uh, this one could be called Joe's Favorite. I might be right, I might be wrong, but this is the one that I've had the most success with. Um, like I said, Silver Blade. And I even got a decent sized rainbow off this this year at White Man's Creek. And uh, there is one more lure that I totally would recommend, but I don't have it on me. I lost it. It's called the Trout Poacher, and it has the colors of a brook trout. It's got yellow, it's got green, and it's got red in there. And I have the most success in the summertime uh, when it gets a little bit hotter out on that lure. Uh, also, speaking of which, guys, when it's really hot out, please, if you didn't know this already, it's not really ethical to fish for trout because uh, it's hard for them to be breathing and it's the whole process is harder on them when it's hotter out. They're a cold water fish, right? Uh, so, obviously, like, July and even a little bit of August, it's, it's usually generally discouraged to fish for uh, brook trout or any trout. Um, yeah, and those are generally what I use. Uh, I also have some tiny flies connected to some four-pound line on little... I don't know what those are called, connector things. And I haven't gotten any success off these yet, so, and I have tried them. You know, this is what most people use for trout, but where I go trout fishing, brook trout fishing, the bush is so dense that if you wanted to lasso a fly rod around your head and put it right where you wanted, you wouldn't get two feet and get caught in a tree. You know, it's, it's just not practical in my opinion, in my opinion. Spin fishing for brook trout in uh, southern Ontario urban brook trout creeks is more practical than fly fishing. But that's just me, you know, what do I know? I've only caught maybe 55 of them. So, uh, yeah, those are the lures that I use. But I will also show you, and I'm not a guide to recommend a rod to me. All fishing rods are all the same. You know, what? It, it, unless you're going for musky or something, but I found this rod so great. 
it's a, a specially designed for brook trout. And, um, yeah, I can catch brook trout on other rods, absolutely, but this one just works really well. Uh, this is a smaller version of it, but it's a, how do I say that? Celio Okuma? 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 Oh, Okuma Tata. Okuma rod. I'll hold that up for you guys to see. Now, this one is a smaller version. What I would recommend is that you guys get the CE-S-502UL. That's what I would recommend, the 502. Now, the thing about these rods is that they have been discontinued by the company, so they're harder to get. Once again, I'd recommend eBay for you guys. But in my opinion, as you can tell, they're not very long, which is good for when you're going through heavy bush. They're not very tall, uh, but they're, they're thin, which gives you a lot of uh, flexibility, but they're tough too. They're a tough fishing rod. So I would totally recommend uh, a 502 Ultra Light Cecilio Trout Rod for you guys. And uh, without further ado, I think that's everything for the gear that I use to catch brook trout. Uh, I hope that you guys got a lot of information out of this video. I'm not some guy that's been fishing for decades, but I can share with you guys what has worked for me. Uh, if you'd like more brook trout videos in the future, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll gladly make them. And uh, stay safe, go outside, have fun, and we'll see you later.